All right, everybody. Uh, me and Dave here actually just got back from a little bit of a uh, road trip. Um, last week, one of my subscribers, uh, I don't really like to say people's name on here because I don't, want to, I don't really like to give people's you know information or identity away. So I won't. If you, if you guys want to comment and say who you are, be my guest. The comment section is right there. Um, yeah, if... Um, for some reason, you know, you want to advertise your your content. I mean, go I uh, go right ahead and do it. I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings at all. I just don't want to say anybody's name just for respect purposes. Well, anyway, that being said, I said guy uh, had a uh, Chrysler air temp removed uh, from the upstairs of his house. I now have it. Said guy gave me uh, the uh, phone number of another guy who removes air conditioners and does changeouts for you know a job. That being said, I was down in Malvern picking up that Chrysler air temp here, and we will get them all out. We will. And uh, he messaged me and said he had a uh, pulled out an old General Electric, which is a high efficiency 8,000 BTU. That's a little bit over eight, actually, but it has an EER of over 10, which, especially for that era, was phenomenal. And that's at worst conditions. That was rated at worst conditions. So once you get the room, you know, uh, cool down and if it's not like 100 degrees outside you're going to be drawn by i'd be willing to bet half that he had an eqk dynamic that was already uh the unit was already got it but that's okay because i wasn't you weren't going to be able to save it anyway it was too far gone and uh dave got himself a part super thrust it's actually for what it is is in really good shape yet it's it, it might not be parts yeah, he they're might. Gonna, Knowing him, he's going to freaking... Well, they're going to share the case. Yeah, that's what that's, I would do. That's exactly what's going to happen. And uh, before I get too far in, uh, our new connection with uh, units was asking what we do with them. Well, here's a prime example here. This one here has been in the making for a while. This is a uh, 1957 Fedders weather wheel, which is the first year that they went to this more common chassis style like this and that. Um, this one here is actually an EQK dynamic too. And, uh, if you're watching, man, this is one I was actually talking about that I needed, I was hoping to get the compressor for, but this is a prime example of a full rebuild. I have it all taken apart. Uh, the front grill for it's up there. As you can see, uh, here's a case for it, uh, the condenser and the compressor that I was trying to get the fit in there, but it's proven to be a little bit tight. Uh, and uh, this one here is actually one that I've actually redid too. As you can see, as you can see, it looks like it just came out of the box. Hey, buddy! I got the couch covers on because he likes to get up there. So everybody likes hearing this guy start up. So I'll start it up for you anyway. Anyway, this one here is—I actually need to clean it up a little bit. We've been running it pretty heavy again. But yeah, an EQK. This is a, this model is from 1981. EQK Dynamic. They started in 1976. As you can see, it's one of the quietest units, especially for an 18,000 BTU one. You go over here. You can barely hear it, if at all. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for a few minutes because um, I want to get these units unloaded. It actually worked out pretty good because the wife is actually out to dinner with friends, so she's going to have no idea I bought three more air conditioners home. And for me, that's very good news. <laughs> and it's ironic because I just this is one here I pulled out of the pile this morning to clean up for my, uh, my sister and brother-in-law for their bedroom in their new house. Uh, it does it does have the front grill for it it does i cleaned it up a while ago so uh all i gotta do is touch it up a little bit but yeah if you guys want to hear that one start we can do that pressure should be right here when does it make sure i hit the right here we go that's it that comes to au aka the pancake as you can see doesn't do much in terms of noise which is a very good thing like i said this one has the uh well i had the same grill as the one i got today but i have a fancier one with the pull down for it 
same control panel, but it's orange instead of blue. Probably a couple years newer. But yeah, um, that's where we're at right now. So yeah, I gotta get these units unloaded before she gets home. I can I can tell her that they were uh, that they we've always had them, or that he's taking them home with him, or I'll figure I'll figure something out. But yeah, buddy, anything like this, if you see any of these Federer's weather wheels, uh, Admirals, Emersons, that's the kind of stuff we're, uh, we Filco special. Ford. Yeah, Philco Ford Noiseless. That's the kind of stuff that we usually um, specialize in, so to speak. Westinghouse's? Westinghouse, oh, absolutely. So even, even a big-ass monstrosity like that. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm going to get these unloaded before she gets home. And, um, yeah, I'll be back with these in a few minutes. I'll just kind of clip the two videos together and merge them. So I'll catch you in a bit. All right, first one I'm going to show, just because of convenience purposes, is it generally electric. I can do something about this little uh, knob right there. It'll look as good as new. No one will ever be able to tell or know. So it's 8,500 BTUs, throws 860 watts. Worst possible condition. condition. So... It's an ER of like 9.9. .9. I was a little, I, I, had to, I, had to, I was off a little bit. There's no date on there, so that dates it to the 70s because starting in like, I think I want to say 1980, I think I've seen them back to it. usually say the month and date up here on the tag. It's in very good condition. This one here, we're not even going to bother firing up because the refrigerant was already, uh, uh, recovered so there's really nothing to really fire up that's the grill for this one like i said it is cherry it really is there's no there's no severe rust everything is 100 percent intact the compressor's still mounted nothing's free floating the fan moves freely all right we're gonna put in an end it's got my favorite plug on there this might actually be a good contestant for uh my sister and brother-in-law honestly i'm thinking depending on how noisy or quiet it is Anyway, I'll do it. Do the honors. Right, smoke test. Oh, hold on. There we go. Boom. I do fan only first. Oh, energy saver. I've never seen one that had the energy saver on a knob. Let's play back from it, obviously. Uh. Hmm. Oh. That's high. That's high. I've seen ones louder than that on low. Oh, yeah. Get the hell out of here. You need a large chassis in the front. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Hang on, hang on. Hang on a second. Let's get. No fucking way. And I don't use the F word in my freaking videos that much anymore, but that, that one there is worthy of it. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. I love that's a bedroom unit all day long. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that, I'm going to give them this one if it'll fit in the window. Besides the over here. Now, it is a rotary, but it's a GE rotary, and we all know the GE rotary is on a, are on a league of their own. Dude, I put this in my freaking bedroom. <laughs> if you didn't have that weather wheel there already. Wow. Now, it is a rotary compressor. Despite being a GE of very high quality, it's still a rotary, and it's going to take a couple minutes to build full head pressure. So, it's already doing it. It's already cold. Not freezing cold yet, but we're getting there. Most of the output's over here, it seems. It's getting there. It's real cold right down here. I have no reason to doubt that there's a full charge on here because it's minty for what it is. A couple little, a couple uh, minutes with the wire brush, take all these pieces off, spray paint them in black. This is going to be one of the quickest restorations I've ever done. Remove the tag to preserve it. Maybe put a clear coat on it. Repaint this in silver. Um, I was going to do white on it, but I kind of feel like the white and silver contrast might be too much. So I might just go with like a, 
like a beige or a white tan on here. I forget what color the side of their house is. I'll have to look and then that'll play a determining factor on it as well. That is insanely quiet. Bit more. A little bit. Yeah, it would. Now these ones, I think they screw in. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. And with the with the big here, I mean, this one's not cut the size yet, but just about. Okay, that doesn't really make much of a a little bit. Oh, dude, that'll freeze that place out. I said I don't have the screws right now to... I am the screws. I'm gonna give them the hot point, uh, hot point grill though. So I like the hot point grill better. Or maybe not, because this one here has that dirt sensor and all that. You might have to go with the... Uh, all the louvers are intact. It's in great, this thing's in great shape. Everything works. Nothing's broken on it. I mean, honestly, dude. Yeah, I can't thank you enough. This is great. And just think, some idiot actually replaced this with a new one. Why? Because this one here draws is an ER of almost 10 at worst possible conditions. The new one's probably an ER of um, probably 12 at best possible conditions. Way, think about it. And think about longevity, replacement, reliability. This thing's freaking, this thing's wonderful. That'll easily do, the, do a bedroom. All right. It's running on high quicks just for shits and giggles. That's not bad either. I just gained a whole new level of respect for General Electric today. Oh yeah. Ooh, hear that? That's the refrigerant settling down. Whole evaporator's cold. Spine fin coil. Great invention. That's nice. Hell yeah. As cool as that freaking Chrysler is, if this fits, I have to give them this one. More BTUs, second story, heat load. Oh yeah, absolutely. Quietness. Quiet, yeah. Run high during the day, puts low at night. This actually might cool the start cooling the downstairs. Yeah, take, take the edge off. I'm going to do a drain hole mod on it so they can feel free to run the balls off of it as much as they want. The only thing I want to do is uh, take the uh, cap off the top and check the wiring, make sure there's nothing uh, you know, compromised, which there shouldn't be. This thing's in relatively good shape. All right, let's do the uh, Chrysler air temp over here. This is the whole start of the trip, and it's funny because I, I originally just came down here to get this. I didn't even plan on uh, meeting up with the uh, supplier any you know today or anytime soon, really. But it turns out, I think I just got his number Friday night, less than a week later. Here we are. Right. Throw him a few bucks to cover the cover uh, what he's losing in scrap money and just, you know for the inconvenience and in holding them for me. We have a I might have a good thing going here. Smoke test. And I do have a uh, cooling uh, oh, lever. Oh, it is. Okay. It's missing, but that's okay. There you go. Don't think I'm complaining because I'm not low. Damper still works. Anyway. That's not bearings. That's, it's, stuff. it's hitting off of, it's hitting off of all the, the 50 the years of, 50 years of shit that's built up in there. Oh. 
And the fact that only one of these is compromised is a miracle. What will you do with that is you take a, you take a, like a, a toothpick would work perfectly. You take that and get a, get one of those, uh, holders that can hold two pieces together while you, while you, uh, solder it. Although we're not soldering this obviously, but that's what they're for. Like they hold two wires, you can solder them together, get those, hold that on and, uh, epoxy it over and let it sit overnight. Anyway, compressors on what? Let's hear the pancake fire up. Can you guys see any of them? It, this unit was painted, so the logo's, uh gone but that's okay i'd make a new one anyway those logos are usually not even legible by now as it is there we go all right dave i can't fire it up contact that's normal for a pancake on startup it's nothing like an aj though no oh my god an aj would shake the whole car Everyone watching this can feel it. Old earth shake. You smell something burning? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. Doesn't smell like No, it's not. It's coming from somewhere else. Yeah, oh, for, hold that for a second. I'm going to go investigate. All, All right. right. I'm going up. All right. Well, it seems you're running pretty good. Blowing cold, as it should. Fences. Fan seems to not hit on low. Let's see if it doesn't high. All right. Honestly, it's this one on high is about the same noise level as that super thrust on medium, and low is roughly the same. Give me a shot of the back. Good old AU. See, seems to be in pretty good shape. Good deal. Great little units. Best part about these is the sliders. All right, probably the neighbors. That is not my problem. I mean, no. As long as well. my house ain't on fire, I don't really give a shit what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How's she running? Really good. I forgot. Blowing we cold. Three, we didn't do a temp check on either one of them. No. I'd say 40s, mid 40s. Works. Oh yeah. The output is there. Uh, they suck in. They blow through the sides and where the compressor is. Probably about 103, 100 to. 25. Well, this is, yeah, and it's not operating in ideal conditions right now. No, it's, it's sucking in sucking a lot. In. Yeah. It's not that loud. No, it's pretty cool. I'd say this one's high is the same as the Super Thrust Medium, and the low is roughly similar, one to one. Now, the low and the Super Thrust is quieter. A little quieter? Oh, yeah. All right. That control panel, though. Absolutely. They're, looks wise, hands down to, to the Chrysler. Oh, absolutely. Not saying the super know. thrust looks bad, I don't but that's know. the back side of the back I'd say outside, outside. The super thrust looks Oh bad. yeah. But the inside with the later crisis though with the four events with the Panastar logo. Oh yeah. That's where it's at. Alright. Here All we right, go. Man. Uh good shit. The only other video we we should probably do the Westy on its own since it really wasn't part of the adventure. And it's definitely yeah, it worthy of its own video. video yeah. And so will these once I get to them. It might be a little bit. This one here, I'm confident that all it needs is maybe a, maybe a jack the fan up a hair. But I'd say mostly it just needed cleaned. Like I said, uh, I really, really do appreciate it. There's no doubt about that this thing needs some work. And if for whatever reason you ever decide you want it back, I'm sure we can work something out. As long as I uh, didn't 
hook it up or install it at one of my buddy's places. Because this one here is actually all pretty much ready to go. So I just have a couple hours worth of work to do with it, doctor it up a little bit, and we'll be in business. So, yeah, anyway, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.